In a busy and competitive country like Singapore, it is easy to get carried away with daily activities that can rob us of the time to rest. Sleep is an important part of our life and it is only through sleep can our bodies remove toxins, repair and recharge. In this video, I share with you the habits that have helped me to get better quality sleep. After dinner, I dim the lights and put on some music. While classical music has been shown to lower blood pressure and reduce stress, any music that you enjoy will help to lift your mood and quieten you down. Hey Google, play some calming instrumental. Got it. Here's a Spotify playlist called Calming Instrumental Covers. Then I will head into the shower to physically rinse off the day. A quick shower is so relaxing and it helps my mind unwind. It really helps to set that intention to wash off any worries, stress or tension from my day. I then allow myself to come out with a refreshed mind and body. I like making a comforting cup of warm golden milk in the evening. Golden milk is mainly made up of turmeric along with ginger, cinnamon and other spices. It is used to improve sleep quality, fight inflammations and also provide antioxidants. Adding this super spice into your bedtime routine helps to relax, improves the mood, helps alleviate depression and lower anxiety levels. With my cup of warm golden milk, I will start to do some journaling. I don't have a fixed way of journaling, but I do try to journal at least half a page each day. I usually start with the things that I'm grateful for, and then move on to the things that are on my mind or events that have happened for the day. Journaling helps with emotional release and it brings me to a state of mindfulness. It allows me to freely and slowly process any emotions within me that is creating unhappiness, worry or discomfort. One of the reasons why we do not get good quality sleep is that our brains are still very active, thinking and worrying about what tomorrow holds. The act of journaling helps to offload emotions out of your mind into your journal to keep a calm, peaceful mind before you go to bed. After that, I spend some time cuddling with Chara on the sofa and while doing so, I like to read a book for about 15 to 30 minutes. Usually I'm reading a physical book so that my eyes get some rest and away from the blue light emitted from electronic devices that suppresses melatonin and affects our ability to go to sleep. I set my phone on do not disturb mode between 10.45pm to 7am the next morning and I do this so that I can focus on unwinding and relaxing before I head to bed. There will be no notification of messages on my phone on this do not disturb mode but it does allow for incoming calls in case of emergencies.
I prepare my room for bedtime by switching on the table lamps and lighting some candles to create a relaxing and soothing environment. My sleep routine starts with me doing some stretches that helps to loosen the tightness and aches around my shoulders and neck. Starting with some side stretches and then move on to neck rotations. Rotating in one direction and changing it in the opposite direction. Next, I stretch the sides of my neck and then my arms and shoulders. Sitting in front of the computer most of the day leaves us with a bit of a hunch and a small back bend helps to open up the chest and stretch the upper back. To do the back bend safely, remember to bend your knees a little when you're bending backwards as this protects your lower back. Lastly, I finish off the stretching with a forward fold, bending over at the hips and just letting my body hang for a bit, swaying from side to side. As I hop into bed, I put on socks for sleeping. Sleeping with socks on helps to warm the feet, to promote positive energy flow and helps in blood circulation as cold feet can drain the body from energy flow and you might wake up in the middle of the night because you were feeling cold. The last thing that I enjoy doing is leg up on the wall pose. Laying on the bed and putting my legs up on the wall to as close as 90 degrees as possible. This pose has many benefits from improving circulation, helping to relax, helping with anxiety and digestive problems. I usually do this pose for about 15 minutes and throughout this time, I will do deep breathing with my eyes closed, focusing on breathing in and out slowly. After all that, I'm relaxed and ready for bed. Hope you enjoyed this video. Good night.